Welcome to our video tutorial on how to write expressions with rational exponents as radicals and vice versa. We learned from our last video that an expression with a rational exponent is written as a raised to m over n, where a is the base and m over n is the exponent. Lahat ng expressions na ganyan ng itsura or form ay tinatawag ding exponential form. At tandaan natin na kapag ang denominator ng exponent nito ay greater than 1, pwede na itong isulat sa radical form or radical expression. Ito yung mga expressions na meron na involved na radical sign tulad nito. Ngayon, yung exponential form para maging radical form, kukopihin mo yung base niya, saka yung numerator ng exponent, dalhin mo siya sa loob ng radical sign, at yung buong yon ay tinatawag na radicand. Tapos yung denominator na n ng exponential form ay ilalagay mo dito. Kukopihin mo rin siya. At yan ay tatawaging index. Kanina, ang basa dito sa exponential form ay a raised to m over n. Sa radical form, ang magiging pagbasa dyan ay Uunahin mo yung index. nt root, si may root ka dun, nt root of a, yung base natin, raised to the nth power. Okay? Ngayon, I'd like to emphasize na yung numerator dito na m ay power noong base na a. Pero pwede rin siyang maging power ng buong radical expression tulad nito. Ayan, yung m dito, pwede mo siyang gawing power ng entire radical expression. So, mangyayari dyan, kukulungin mo yung buong yan, tapos, kopihin mo yung numerator. Okay? So, pareho lang ibig sabihin yan. Ang gamit niyan ay kapag nasa simplifying uh, radical expressions na tayo. Kasi may mga chances na mas madaling isimplify yung expressions kapag ganito ang itsura niya. Pero more often, ito ang mas madali. Okay? Depende yan sa uh, problem. Para mas maitindihan natin, let's have examples. At ang instruction dito ay write each expression in radical form. Ayan sila. Paano ba gawing radical form yung mga yan? First given, we have 8 raised to 2 over 3. O equals dito. Una, identify mo na kung ano yung denominator na exponent. Diba 3 siya? So, yun ang magiging index natin. Lalagay natin yan dun sa may buntot ng radical sign. Kaya meron tayong the cube root. Ayan. Cube root ng ano? Cube root of 8. Kopyahin natin yung base note na 8. Saka yung 2. Magiging exponent siya dito sa radicand. Okay? And then, you're done. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Or, pwede rin na iparenthesis mo yung the cube root of 8. Meron tayong the cube root of 8. Habaan natin konti. Tapos, square mo yan. And, you're done. Magkaiba yung basa dyan, pero para wala ibig sabihin nila. Ito, the cube root of 8 squared. Ito naman, the cube root of 8 squared. Napansin mo ba yung difference? Ito, merong pause. Kasi may grouping symbol ka. By the way, hindi natin simplify yung mga yan dahil ibang lesson yan. Dito, ang concern lang natin ay paano mag-convert ng exponential form into radical form and vice versa. Next example, 7 raised to 1 half. Same process. Yung 2 dito magiging siyang index. Kaya meron tayong um, the square root of 7 raised to the first power. Pero sa, sa radicals, ang index na 2 ay common. Kaya kahit na wala yung 2, pwedeng ganyan na lang siya. It is understood na yung nandoon ay 2. So, kaya ang basa dyan ay the square root of 7 pa rin. Tapos yung 1 doon, ibig sabihin niyan ay isang 7. Kaya kahit huwag mo nang isulat din. Okay? Kaya ang final answer dyan ay the square root of 7. No, wala na yung 2 doon, saka 1. Understood na yan. Kahit huwag mo nang ipakita itong una. Next, we have x raised to 2 over 5. Same process, yung 5 dyan magiging index. Kaya meron tayong the fifth root ng ano? x raised to the second power or simply the fifth root of x squared. Fourth example, the quantity 3x raised to 3 over 4. Same process. Identify muna kung ano yung denominator na exponent ng base, which is 4. Kaya yun ay the 4th root 
of, lagi yung una yun. Okay, the fourth root of what? Correct, 3x. Kaya copy mo yung 3x sa loob. Tapos yung, yung numerator dito na 3 ay tatanggapin ng parehong factor. Di ba dalawa ko sila? Kaya bawat isa sa kanila makakatanggap ng 3 na exponent. Okay, and you're done. Or, mas madali naman to, i-parenthesis mo yung the fourth root of 3x. Tapos yung buong yan ang i-cube mo. Di ba? Acceptable lang pareho yan. Pero mas madaling gawin itong pangalawa. Kaya yun ang piliin mo. Okay? Next, the quantity c cubed d over 9 raised to 1 6. Kahit na fraction pa. Pareho lang process. So yung 6 dyan ay the 6th root. Expectation kasi fraction kaya medyo alakihan ko. Yan ay c cubed d over 9. Kopihin ko lang yun. c cubed d over 9. Ang numerator natin ay 1, kaya wag mo na akong ilagay. Okay? Ngayon, kung yan ay naging 5, i-enclose mo na lang yung buong yan, tapos 5th power. Okay? Additional example, we have item 6, x raised to negative 2 third. Same process, pero ito ay negative exponent. Kaya kailangan, mag magawa muna natin positive yan. Para maging positive yan, apply natin ng uh, negative exponent rule na kung saan ang sabi niya, yung base natin na x kapag may kapag may negative na exponent, kukunin mo yung reciprocal niya tapos kopihin mo yung 2 thirds. So, paano yun? Reciprocal ng x ay 1 over x. Yung negative 2 thirds, kukopihin mo, pero magiging positive na siya. Kaya yan ay magiging 2 over 3 na lang. Kasi nga, kinuha mo na yung reciprocal niya. Okay? Wala na exponent na negative, kaya pwede na siyang gawing radical form. Yung 1, kopihin mo lang sa numerator. Tapos, itong x raised to 2 thirds, gawin mo ng radical form. Meron kang 3, yan ay cube root ng ano. Okay, correct. x squared. Habaan natin yun. Okay, and you're done. Next, item 7. 9x raised to 5 over 7. And take note of this. We have two factors here, 9 at yung x. Yung x lang ang may exponent na 5 over 7. So yung 9 ay magiging numerical coefficient lang ng ating radical form. Take note of that. Kaya gagawin natin dyan, yung 9, kukopihin lang natin muna. Yung x ang magkakaroon or papasok sa loob ng radical. Yung 7, ibig sabihin yan index, kaya yan ay 7th root ng ano? 7th root ng x raised to the fifth power. And you're done. Depende rin na i-enclose mo yung the seventh root of x, tapos 5 sa labas. Next. Paano naman to? We have 8. Item 8, negative 5 raised to 1 third. So, same process pa rin. Pero take note, yung negative dito, hindi siya kasali dapat. Kasi ang base mo, Ang ibig sabihin ng question ay negative ng 5 raised to 1 third. Kaya magiging sagot natin, negative ng cube root ng 5. Okay? Pero kung ito nakaparenthesis, negative 5 raised to 1 third, ibang usapan yan. Kasi ang sabi niya, yung buong negative 5 ang base niya. Ito magiging the cube root of negative 5. Okay? Maka makaiba yun. Yun ang importance ng grouping symbol. Let us now do the other way around. Dahil lang instruction dito ay write each expression in exponential form. Okay, mga given dito ay puro mga radical expressions. Gagawin natin silang exponential form. Paano ba yan? First given is the fifth root of 2 cubed. Kopihin mo lang yung radical na 2 cubed. Na yan ay magiging 2. Pero yung 3 dito, iabang mo na, na magiging exponent siya nung magiging numerator siya ng exponent. Kaya magiging 2 raised to 3 over, over what? Over the index of the given radical expression, which is 5. Kaya, you're done. Gata lang siya kadali. Another, the square root of 11. Kopihin yung radical na 11 raised to the uh, 1, kasi di ba may 1 yan na exponent? Over, over what? Over in the index. At yung index dito ay tama, 2. Kaya sagot natin ay 11 raised to 1 half. Another, the fifth root of a, b. Take note na yung uh, radicand natin ay dalawang factors, a and b. Kaya kailangan, nakaparenthesis yan, nakagroup. 
Okay. The quantity AB raised to 1, kasi 1 pareho yung kanilang exponent, kaya 1 doon, over 5. And you're done. Next, ito medyo iba. The fifth root of AB squared, pero same process pa rin. I-group natin yung dalawang factors na yan. The, the quantity AB squared raised to, ano yung pareho nilang exponent? Correct, 1. So, 1 over 5. Sir, pwede po bang the quantity AB raised to 2 over 5? No, kasi yung 2 dito, ay yung, t dito, yung 2 dito ay exponent ng B lang. So, hindi pa pwede yan. E di ba, may imaginary yan. Uh, isipin mo yan ay naka-enclose tapos 1. Okay? So, hindi pa pwede ito. Another, uh, the quantity, the fifth root of AB squared. Ito, yung 2 dito, exponent ng buong radicand AB. Kaya yan ay ibang usapan. The quantity AB, tapos yung 2 dito, exponent yan ng dalawang AB. Yung factors AB. So, raised to 2 over 5. Kung napansin ninyo, uh, nagpresent ako ng tatlong iba't ibang uh, situations na ito ang involved na variables, A, B, and exponents, and indices. Okay? Buray natin yan. Aralan nyo mabuti yan. Balikan nyo. Sixth example, we have the quantity, the fourth root of 25, x squared, y cube, cube. Same process pa rin dahil Maraming factors to, 25 x squared y cube. I-group natin yan. The quantity 25 x squared y cube raised to yung exponent ng buong yan. Kaya 3 over 4. Okay? Be careful na lang ha. Dapat yung exponent dito ay medyo mataas doon. Seventh example, we have 1 over the quantity the cube root of 4a. Squared. Same process pa rin kahit na nasa denominator siya. 1 over, okay, parenthesis natin yung 4a, raised to 2 over the index 3. And you're done. Ganun na siya kadali. Ayan, last example na tayo. Medyo challenging siya kasi tatlong factors to. 10, the cube root of s squared, saka yung the square root of u plus v. Take note, na yung 10 dito ay wala siya sa loob ng radical kaya yan ay magiging numerical coefficient lang factor lang siya so 10 tapos yung second factor na cube root of s squared i-convert natin yan ay magiging s raised to 2 over 3 tapos ito rin yung u plus v i-parenthesis natin dahil buong radical yan uh, quantity u plus v Raise 2, ano yung exponent nila dito? Correct, 1. Kaya 1 over the index 2. Kaya ang final answer natin ay 10 s raised to 2 over 3. The quantity u plus v raised to 1 half. Thank you.